This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines on this Tuesday. Happening tonight, the St. Louis County Council will discuss legislation that would put a mask mandate back in place. Now, this ordinance would work to make it illegal to wear a mask and would be independent from the county health department's mask mandate. That mandate is currently halted. Its next court date is next Tuesday. Belleville Township High School could finalize its back to school plans later today. The school district has been challenging dealing with all the changes from the state. Last week, Governor J.B. Pritzker mandated all schools K through 12 to wear a mask regardless of their vaccination status. The search is still on for whoever hit and killed a Brooklyn police officer last week, but prosecutors did charge Daryl Lane yesterday. Police say that he sped through the police barricades that were set up on the McKinley Bridge after Officer Pierce was hit. Police say that Lane was driving the car that had been stuck between two squad cars. Time now for a check of the forecast. Kent, we're looking at dangerous, dangerous heat this, uh, this yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> along with the threat of thunderstorms as well. And a high temperature of 96 degrees today under partly cloudy skies. That heat index could reach 110. Southwest winds at 8 to 12 miles per hour, and any of those storms that form could become severe. We're looking at a excessive heat warning now that's been issued for the metro counties in Illinois, uh, Madison and St. Clair. That includes the city of St. Louis and Missouri, as well as St. Louis County and St. Charles County in that excessive heat warning. Everybody else under an excess uh, under a heat advisory and any storms that form and they'll be very spotty today and again tomorrow could become severe. Now it's a low risk marginal to slight as you move from south to north across our viewing area levels one and two on a scale of five. But that risk continues over the northern viewing area, although it is low on Wednesday and again on Thursday. So again, not a lot of thunderstorms, but those that form had the potential to become severe. The intense heat will impact everybody for sure uh, with highs in the mid to upper 90s right on through Thursday and those heat index readings in excess of 110 at times. A better chance, a higher chance of uh, showers and thunderstorms on Friday with a front that knocks the temperature down to the mid 80s. So uh, that's a lot to look forward to. Lower humidity, very little rain chance on Saturday. Uh, lower humidity, lower temperatures and drier weather. So I think you'll like it.